The Tesla Semi is the only Tesla vehicle without its own production line. Until now, assembly has been mostly manual, with few machines suited for building large trucks, creating major bottlenecks. That's why fewer than 1,000 semis are on the road nearly eight years after its debut, earning it the nickname Production Hell. Tesla recently opened a 4-million square foot factory for semi-production, but a true high-volume line has still been missing. That may be about to change. Drone footage from Tesla advocate Zanigler captured a massive press machine being hauled from Giga Texas to Giga Nevada. A clear sign Tesla is gearing up for die-casting semi-components. With this machine, Tesla's goal of building one truck every 10 minutes, or 50,000 per year, is suddenly within reach. But why hasn't Tesla used die-casting for the semi before? Gigapresses have so far been used for vehicles like the Model Y and Cybertruck, where front and rear underbodies are cast in single pieces instead of welded from hundreds of smaller parts. The semi, however, is far larger and heavier. Its frame must handle massive loads and harsh conditions, demanding different materials and designs. Current gigapresses, with clamping forces of 6,200 to 9,100 tons, aren't big enough for the job. Now Tesla seems ready to change that. Could this breakthrough finally allow mass production of the semi and help Tesla dominate global trucking? Developing a larger gigapress requires more factory space, which is why Tesla hasn't used die casting for the semi until now. According to Sawyer Merritt, citing video footage by Zangler, Tesla just received a massive package at its Nevada semi-production facility, likely a stamping press. It took two semis and a triple trailer to move it, showing the scale of the machines needed to build these trucks. The Tesla Semi isn't just any electric truck. It delivers 500 miles of range, charges to 80% in 30 minutes, accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, hauls 82,000 pounds, and consumes just 1.7, or even 1.55, kilowatt hour per mile in the latest tests. No other truck compares because Tesla designed it from the ground up without the constraints of diesel layouts. There's no front engine or central gearbox, allowing a completely rethought design focused on efficiency, comfort, and safety. Chief designer Franz von Holthausen says the cab was treated as a driver's office. Tesla interviewed truckers to make the interior more comfortable, with a central seating position for panoramic visibility, two large screens, generous space, and intuitive controls. Driving feels as easy as piloting a car, and safety features include a low center of gravity, active control to prevent jackknifing, and brakes that almost never wear out. Aerodynamics also set the semi apart. Inspired by Japan's Shinkansen trains, its bullet-shaped body achieves a drag coefficient of just 0.4, about twice as efficient as diesel trucks. A flat underbody, no bulky exhaust, and extensive wind tunnel testing help it slice through air rather than push against it, extending range and lowering costs. With trucks responsible for 12% of U.S. fuel use, these savings matter. Tesla isn't just building a truck. It's building the machines that build it, redefining freight transport from the ground up. The Tesla Semi features blast-resistant glass and advanced autopilot. With few safety regulations for trucks, Tesla applied its own high standards, making it likely the safest truck ever built. Powered by three independent rear motors producing about 1,500 horsepower, the semi is tuned for durability and efficiency rather than raw speed. It isn't all-wheel drive. Instead, its tandem drive axles extend tire life, a major cost in trucking. Steer tires carry no torque, reducing wear, and two-gear ratios provide both high-speed efficiency and strong low-end torque. 
It accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds unloaded or 20 seconds fully loaded at 80,000 pounds. All wheels engage at startup, then switch to energy saving mode. Tesla borrowed proven parts like carbon wrapped rotors from the model South Plaid and drive inverters from the Cybertruck. The semi steps look low but it's an illusion. Floor height matches conventional trucks, but smaller step increments reduce strain for drivers, addressing a major cause of workplace injuries. Adjustable air suspension eases trailer hookup and obstacle clearance. The rear hinge door improves aerodynamics, while the lack of a diesel-style grille reflects its EV design. Front corners are built for quick replacement to cut repair time and cost. Early skepticism from drivers faded after experiencing its 15% fuel savings and comfortable cabin. The semi currently uses an 850 kilowatt hour battery, consuming 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile with a tested 500 mile range. Tesla plans to adopt larger 4,680 cells, which offer about five times the energy capacity and six times the output of current cells, increasing range without adding weight, boosting payload. Production will rely on Tesla's GigaPress to cast large frame components in a single piece, cutting manufacturing time from about an hour to just minutes while improving quality and reducing costs. Elon Musk aims for 50,000 units per year by 2026, roughly one truck every 10 minutes. An ambitious but feasible goal with this technology. Pricing for the Foundation Series is rumored around $250,000, which fits the semi's massive battery, advanced engineering and potential to reshape freight transport. Tesla highlights that charging a semi costs about half as much per mile as diesel. Operators can save around $150,000 in fuel within the first three years. With remote diagnostics, software updates, and fewer moving parts, semis spend less time in service and more time on the road. The truck uses just 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile translating to about 30 cents per mile. A 6.5 mile trip costs roughly $3.30 in electricity, compared to a diesel truck burning a full gallon at $3.66 for the same distance. Beyond fuel savings, electric trucks are mechanically simpler. No engine, no transmission, fewer components to fail, making them more reliable. Trucking is vital to global commerce. In the U.S. alone, trucks move over 70% of all freight, employ nearly 6% of the workforce, generate $700 billion annually, and consume 12% of the nation's fuel. This makes a fully electric semi even more attractive. Drivers who've tried the Tesla semi say it's unmatched, combining low energy use, low costs, and a superior driving experience. The freight industry faces a major challenge. Demand for goods is climbing, but driver numbers are shrinking. Long hours, overnight hauls, and relentless delivery deadlines make the job exhausting and dangerous, discouraging newcomers. To help, Tesla is testing full self-driving on the semi, aiming to release it by year's end in version 2. Autonomous highway operation would let drivers rest and intervene only when needed, reducing fatigue-related accidents and reshaping the long-haul profession. Transforming trucking from an exhausting grind into a sustainable, appealing career, the Tesla Semi could be a game-changer. If Musk delivers full self-driving for the Semi, it would tackle the global driver shortage while keeping freight moving around the clock. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a structural shift that could reshape logistics in the next decade, making the semi-arguably the best electric truck in the world. After years